Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Lumion 10. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glide Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to teach you how to use mass move tool in Lumion and how to place car and uh, human beings and speed up their movement. So I have selected one small building with a road network here and one is a straight road going from this end to this end and one is curve road going to this direction so i will tell you how to place car in curve roads and straight roads so i am going to first use transport here and i am going to use transport and i will place some car here and i am going to place some cars here and i will use shift here with a command and I will place my first car here and I will rotate this car this direction and I will place it at 90 degree and you can place some more cars or you can copy this with the move horizontal tool and you can press alt on your keyboard and you can start copying and you can change the color here and I will copy another by pressing Alt on my keyboard and I will change this color to red here I am going to place three cars here and now uh, I am going to movie here and I will select this and I will start recording movie here and you can see and after this you can add camera keyframe I am going to click this first keyframe here and now I will go further closer here and I will click my second keyframe and now I will go to this direction and I will place my third keyframe and after this I am going to click this and you can see your animation here and there is no movement of car so making movement of the car you are required to use mass move tool so I am going to this add effect button here effects and I will click this and after this you will go to animation and you will use mass move tool here I am going to select this and after selecting mass move tool you will see this pencil icon here and you can click edit here and now this uh, sphere like things which is attached with our uh, cursor here you can start placing your first point so I am going to place my first point here of the car and I will go to place my end point here somewhere and after clicking once here you can go to this path width by default which is 1 meter so you have to cover the full space of your car width and I am going to increase the width of the path and you can see it is covering the whole width of the car and I am going to make it further wide so that there is no any uh, disruption in moving your car so I am going to increase the path width and now I will increase the car model speed by making it to some speed here 30.52 km per hour and after this I will finish this and now I am going to play my animation here see you can see your car is moving here smoothly and you can see it is disappearing because your path width is limited here you can see this car is going and it's disappearing so, so you may uh, fill this problem so I am going to my build mode here and I will use this edit mass move tool and I am going to increase this path here so that in animation you will not see this error you can increase further here and you can finish this and now I am going to place play my animation here and you will not see this car disappearing so if you find this car disappearing you can increase the path here so this is the method and you can place cars in opposite direction also and you can use mass move tool here so now i am going to show you how to uh, animate this car 
in curved direction like this suppose this is a straight pathway so you will not face uh, any problem but if it's a curved path you have to be little careful by using mass move tool so i am going to first place a car here and i will place a car at this end and i will place q here and shift q and i will go further here and i will rotate this and now i am going to rotate my car here and i will change this color to white here so that you can view it and this is a white car and i am going to first place it in the center somehow and now uh, i will place another car by copying it I will press Alt here and I will place my second car here and my third car here and I will rotate this slightly and I will also select this car and rotate this place it in center so now I am going to add a mass move tool here and I am going to my move it mode and I will edit my mass move tool here and now I will click this this button here add path like place tool and I will use this mass move tool here and now I will click here add path and I will click here and after this you will see control left mouse button LMB to add new path and control plus right mouse button to remove path node and I am going to use this LMB which is left mouse click so I will place here and I am going to place my first path here and after this I will press control and left mouse click I will add another path here because we have to make it little curve and again I will press control and I will my third point here control and I will control and with the left mouse click I will place some more points here and I will place it here and after this you can move this with your desired path here. So after this you are required to increase the path width here and I am going to cover the full road width here and after this you can increase the car model speed here and then you are required to select each node here and you can I am going to select this path here and you can increase the smoothness which is 0% so your car with, will be moved with some jerk so you have to increase the smoothness and I am going to make it 100%. I will select this one and I will increase the smoothness to 100%. I will select this one and I will make this smoothness 100%. And likewise you can repeat this for each curve path here so that it will help in your animating car properly. So I am going to finish this and now I am going to add some more camera frame here and I will uh, edit this clip and now I will go to this curve path here and I will click here and I will add some more keyframe and I will finish this and now I am going to play and we'll see our animation here and you can see 
this car is moving smoothly in your curve path and if you render you can see uh, this jerk will be disappeared so I am going to render it first and I will show you the final product so I am going to render small version it will be less in resolution and it can view this and I am going to car save it as a car on my desktop and I will show you the final product so I have finished the rendering and I will show you a uh, final product in low resolution so you can see car is running smoothly here and now we will see our curve path also and you can see uh, this is running smoothly because we have started from this point so car is looking to appear from this end so now you can see this is running smoothly so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more tutorial in lumen 10 so thanks for watching bye bye